is actually really worth it that's what we're gonna find out today hey everybody welcome back to the channel and today i have a very controversial topic to talk about i have all my thoughts written down okay today i'm gonna talk about alpha these amplify shorts shorts that i have are the amplify shorts 4.5 inches and they're the second collection that they came out with like the second version of those shorts so the fabric composition is made out of 51 percent polyamide 38 percent polyester and 11 percent elastane according to their sizing if you have a 25 26 waist and a hips 34 to 36 you're an extra small and that's what i went by and uh, it's a little bit too tight because the waistband is very compressive so that's the only thing i will say about the sizing i would not size that i would just go by the actual sizes that you always get everywhere that you go like if you're a small everywhere just get a small like me i'm always a small everywhere so i always just get a small and 98 percent of the time it always works out i'm supposed to be an extra small for them and a small would be a little bit better just because of the waistband the waistband has the three tier waistband it really cinches in it into the waist so if you have a little bit of fat on your stomach it's gonna like, stick it out a little bit more especially with the yellow one i think the yellow one is from the alpha lux collection i'll put the title here just to make sure that i'm saying it correctly or i'm talking about the correct collection and that one has an elastic at the top of the waistband and so if you guys don't like that i wouldn't recommend those or just size up also those shorts are incredibly short <laughs> they're a lot than the amplify, amplify one they show the cellulite lights a lot more and they're a little bit more prone to being see-through just because i got the yellow color i don't know about the other color that fabric is pretty soft too and it's, it's a really nice collection i will say that so let's talk about everything else it does write up a lot even if these are the 4.5 you're gonna collect it into the cheeks the fabric will go up a little bit more because the fabric is higher now and of course like all the other dupes that i've shown here they do have the mesh on the side when i first got these i was like oh shit this is a little bit delicate be careful with this part it feels like you could break it really easily but um, i'm not really sure about that because i haven't learned it yet for this collection they made the seam a little bit stronger because of how many people have complained that the seam broke on them so let's really talk about is alpha Lee really worth it and that's just going to depend on a lot of variables why are you going to buy the alpha Lee? is it because of the hype that they're getting you actually like the, the creator which is christian do you want to support him are you actually in love with leggings and you want to try them and you're investing the money in a really good legging or expensive leg and you think it's gonna be great is it because of how flattering it is because it is actually flattering but i'll get a little bit more into that a little bit later so does the hype equal value what do you value in a legging that's what you gotta decide yourself what is it that you're looking for in a legging what is it that you value in a legging what is it that you're willing to pay for a legging because the price of these leggings are 72 dollars and then the price of the shorts are 52 dollars i will say for the price the fabric is very delicate so that's what you also have to take into consideration whenever you're buying these leggings you're investing 72 dollars for the legging or 52 dollars for the shorts is it worth it to have a little accident happen Just keep in mind that for the price the fabric is very delicate so you're gonna have to be really 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 careful with it if you're not the type of person that's super careful with leggings or anything like that i would recommend choosing either another collection from their website because i'm pretty sure they have cheaper options or just invest your money on another pair of leggings and there are a lot of other dupes now that are in the market so that's what i want to talk about also there's a lot of amazon dupes right now so there's seller there's yurio Mandanitsu, i think it is they also have some amplify dupes and although it's not the same it's very similar it all depends on the sizing that you get the color and everything like that i will say that the seller one is the most alike to the fabric the seller one is a little bit thinner than Alphily, but for me, the feeling of it is very, very alike because it's not perfect, right? It's a little bit thinner, the material gathers a lot, so that's the only difference. But it is the feeling is very, very similar because it's very like stretchy. With the Alphily one, it is going to be a little bit more compact, it feels thicker compared to the seller one. There's an analogy that I made, stay with me, they're a little bit weird, but this is what I think about whenever I'm stretching the leggings or I'm feeling the leggings. So, whenever I stretch it like this. It feels like whenever you're stretching slime, slime is very stretchy and it feels very satisfying. So that's kind of what this feels like to me in the best way possible. And then it also kind of reminds me of those tights that you wear underneath clothes. I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but it's not like those thick ones that you can't breathe. It's like a faja and they're very long, so they kind of cover the belly area. And that's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting. And when I was researching like on Reddit, somebody did say basically the same thing as me. Think of a thick winter tight. That's 
that's interesting i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but i hope you guys do kind of just reminds you of that material that's basically all i'm saying and now let's talk about the pricing so there's obviously like reasons why things like this are very expensive but it could be like the overhead cost the quality of the materials that they invest in according to christian this is what he said they source and privately mill each fabric they take no shortcuts in designing and putting out an item and another thing is that a lot of people have complained about the fabric breaking like i said earlier and the customer service but this is obviously not for everybody this just might be for a certain percentage doesn't mean that it's actually going to happen to you but now do i personally think that the price of these leggings or shorts is worth it no i don't because i don't think an item should be priced this Hot. This also goes with Lululemon, um, but a lot of people said that they will invest their money more on Lululemon than on um, this one. Or some people might validate the breaking of the fabric as like, oh, have you never had a pair of leggings break on you? And no, not like this. If you're paying that much for some leggings, they should not break on you. Some people said that they had Lululemons for years, hasn't broken on them. Some of the really cheap leggings that I got like at Marshalls or something, they don't break easily because it all depends on the material, of course. Some materials are more prone to breaking than others, so that's also what you have to take into account. You have to be accountable on what you're spending your money on. You have to realize that there's a risk in paying so much, but depending on the fabric, it might just break on you. But for me personally, I don't think it's worth it just because there's a lot of dupes on the market right now. You can get a really good pair of leggings for a lot cheaper But now I did hear that they have alphabet codes that actually discount your item take that into account as well But I'm not telling you I'm not telling you what to do This is just my personal opinion and like the reasons why I don't think it's worth it Even though I invested my own money on these items myself because I obviously wanted to try them for myself And I saw how flattering it looks on other girls for me personally Just because it looks good on them does not mean that it's gonna look the same on me They have a lot more ass more cake more peach than I do and depending on your body type and depending on like where your tailbone sits person for me the scrunch might not look as good as it looks on them compared to yourself not every legging is the same it's very similar it just depends on what kind of style you like i know a lot of people don't even like the seamless collection of any brand i was flabbergasted because i obviously love my seamless leggings but a lot of people do like the seams and their leggings and shorts so you just have to identify what you like and what looks good on you and what you're comfortable with because at the end of the day you're the one paying for it and you're the one investing on it is there anything else let me see I think I touched upon pretty much everything. That's just my personal personal opinion. Please don't come at me. Thank you. If you love it, you love it. Invest in it. It doesn't matter. Just buy your own thing. It's your money. It's your money. You can buy whatever you want with your money, right? I'm just saying that, like, obviously, I'm, I'm very, like, when spending money. But I will identify what is actually valuable and, like, what I'm willing to spend money on. And if it's even worth it, do I just want to buy into the hype or is it because I'm actually interested? And sometimes people buy into the hype and they regret it afterwards because they realize it's not made for them. And that's okay. That's really okay. You don't have to follow any trends. You don't have to follow just like what everybody else has on. It's whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever you're willing to spend money on. And at the end of the day, it's active wear. You're going to sweat in it. You're going to do everything in it. It's going to Stink, it's gonna smell it's gonna have sweat in it it's gonna have germs and everything from the gym floor turf or equipment at the gym you know yeah you get it <laughs> you get it your bodily fluids that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i just want to let everybody know but yeah for me personally my sizing was a little bit off <laughs> that did a lot of damage i barely wear these they roll up a lot and they're really tight especially as someone that's either bloated or in the waistband is too deep, too deep in there if i would have gotten a small everything would have been a little bit better so that's my final verdict on is alphalete really worth the price it all depends on you but for me the answer is i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day please don't cancel me